Hi everybody! We're going to look at dividing using repeated subtraction in this lesson. This is the next strategy. And to do this, to use this strategy properly and to remember it, you need to understand what these two words mean. You need to know what repeated means and you need to know what subtraction is. And you need to really subtract well. If you don't know how to subtract well, you need to go back and review those videos and become better at it first. Repeated. Let's look at this word. When you repeat something, you do it over and over again. You repeat the same thing. You don't change it. You do the same thing over and over and over again. Subtraction means take away. So put those two together. We're going to repeat some subtraction. How do we start this up? Now, first of all, you see how this equation is written out. We got the equal sign on this side and we got this blank on this side. We don't like that. So we can just change it. If it's on your paper, you could scribble it out and rewrite it. I'm going to do this because this is how we're most comfortable doing it. Now, how do we start this? It's very simple. You write this here, this, this number here, the first number you see means how much you have all together. We're going to write that 12 in. That's how much we have all together. We have 12 things. We're going to divide by 3. Using this strategy, we're going to take away 3. Now, I promise it's going to, it's, you're going to see how this works in the end. But 12 take away 3, write the answer down. 12, 12 take away 3, so you're going to put 12 in your head. You're going to go 11, 10, 9. That's take away 3. You get 9. Now you take the answer 9, you put it over here, and you repeat the take away again. Take away 3. You do that, you get 9 take away 3 is 8, 7, 6. Now you take the answer and you put it here. You go take away 3 again. You see how we're repeating the same thing over and over again. You take 6 take away 3, you get 3. You take that answer and you put it over here. You go 3 take away 3 gets you 0. And you know you did it properly if your answer is 0. If you got something other than 0, you did it wrong. It has to equal exactly 0. Now how do we figure out our answer? Very simple. You circle the first equation. You circle the second equation. You circle the third one. You circle the fourth one. And we, since we circled one, two, three, we circled four of them, the answer is four. That's it. It's that simple. That's, that's all there is to it. It doesn't get more complicated than that. Now, why does this work the way it does? I'm going to show you. Let's say we have 12 things. Let's say we have 12 happy faces because 12 means we have 12 altogether. So let's go 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One way to divide is by sharing. Okay. We looked at that at another strategy. Using that method, by putting things into groups, you're essentially taking away from the total. So what that means is we have 12 altogether. If we divide by 3, we could do this. We can go, let me just separate these first. We could essentially go like this. Groups of 3, we can put a group of 3 over here. That's like saying 12 take away 3. Now we have 9 left over here. You see that? I'm going to put a group. I'm going to make a circle around. That's a group of three. Now I can do it again. I can go take away another three from the total. Draw a circle around them. This is like a team. It's like, you know, let's say you're making teams for uh, three on three hockey. So you go and take away three. You take another three from the total. Now you only have one, two, three, four, five, six. See? Now you only have six left. Now you do it again. Let's say you make another team. Let's say you put him with him and this person and you make them into a team. And now you've only got three left. See? Three. And then you take another three. You put them in a team. And you can put a circle around them. Let's say they're their own team. And now you've got zero left over here. So you get zero. And that's why the strategy works. It's a great strategy to use. Make sure you practice this and get good at it. I'm going to do another example for you before I give you uh, some ones you can try on your own. 18 divided by 6. Oh, wait, by the way, let's go back to the last one. How do you check to see if this is correct using multiplication? It's very simple. You draw a box or you cover this up with your hand and you look at the last two numbers and you multiply them. And I know it says division on in the equation, but you always check division using multiplication. They're opposites. Division and multiplication are the opposite of each other. So you check your answer using this symbol. So you go 3 times 4. And if you forgot how to multiply, go watch those videos. You got 3 times 4 is 12. You look at this answer and since they match 12 and 12, you did it properly. Now let's do 18 divided by 6. So you start with 18 
And now you're going to go take away 6. 18 take away 6 is 12. You take the 12, you put it here. You go take away 6 again. When you do that, you get 6. You put the 6 down here. You go take away 6 again. And you get 0. And it worked, you see? Now we count how many we have. How many equations? We have 1. We have 2. We have 3. Now, the answer is going to be 3, but I know you don't like the equation like this. You want to move it around, so let's do that. And we're going to write the 3 right here. 3. Now, let's check it. We're going to take these last two. We're going to times them. We're going to multiply them together. We're going to go 6 times 3, and 6 groups of 3 is 18. 18. 18, it works out. So we did it right. Now, how did I know I need to take away 6 every time? How did I know that I needed to subtract 6? Because it tells me right here. Okay, so that's how you know. Now it's your turn. So here's an equation. I'm going to pause the video. You try it on your own. We'll check it in a moment. Okay, so you should have done this. You should have went 12. Let's change colors here. Let's make it black. It's kind of hard to see the green, I think. Let's do that. Okay, so we have 12. You should have done take away 4, and you should have gotten 8. Then you took the 8, you put it here, you take it, you put it here, and you take away 4 again. You repeat it. It's repeated subtraction. You get 4. You take that answer, you put it here, you go take away 4 again, and you get 0. Your answer is going to be 1, 2, 3 times. So you write 3. Now to check your answer, you could have moved this around. And I know I'm kind of, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I'm always setting the equation up, you know, with this equals on this side. But I really want you to be comfortable moving things around because on exams, your teacher's going to do that to you sometimes. So you got to be prepared for it. And I'm trying to prepare you for that right now. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. Let's check our answer. We're going to take this box. We're going to cover up this. You can use your hand. We're going to take these last two numbers. We're going to times them. And four groups of 3 is 12. And that says 12 as well. And so since they match, we did it correctly. Now let's try one more. Actually, no, there's two more. Let's do 21 divided by 7. Pause the video and try it on your own. All right, you should have done this. You should have went 21, take away 7. And if you did that properly, you should have gotten an answer of 14. Now you take the 14 and you put it here. You take away 7 again and you get 7. Now you take that answer, you put it here, and you go take away 7 again because that says 7, right? So you repeat, subtract over and over until you get exactly 0. And you know you did it right because you got 0. You got 1, 2, 3. We put that here. We can check our answer again using multiplication. And you get 7 times 3. And 7 groups of 3 is 21. And that says also 21. So we did it properly. Now the most challenging question of them all. This one here. Read it very carefully. Pause the video. And then check your answer in a moment. All right. Here's what you should have done. This is going backwards. How do we write this as an equation? Now look. This is our starting number. This is how much we started with. So that has to be our first number. This is how much we have all together. We have 15 people or things. We are going to divide it. Okay, what do we divide by? 5, right. 15 divided by 5, because remember, the second number is the number you're going to always subtract over and over again. Look at all these other examples. Look back here. That was 7, so we took away 7, 7, 7. And this one here it was divided by 4, so we always take away 4, take away 4, take away 4. Now when we go to this one, we have divided by 5 because it's take away 5, take away 5, take away 5. The answer, though, you should have written down 1, 2, 3. And you always check your answer over again. It says check using multiplication. Even if it didn't say that, you still need to check it over just to make sure you did it properly. 5 times 3. You Look at the last two. You go 5 times 3. You can cover this up with your hand, the first part. 5 times 3 is 5 groups of 3, and that's 15. 15 matches, and it's correct. Way to go, guys. Keep practicing. Get better at it. I'll see you in the next lesson.